the most common question that we answer is no, we don't wear bikinis while we're serving food. That's something that we just don't do. I opened the restaurant with my fiance, Petrit Pula, who um, is involved in music, and this actually had been his office for seven years, so we decided to turn it into a restaurant together. I lived in Spain for five years in Barcelona, and I learned a lot about uh, the food and the culture and totally fell in love with it. Before we opened the restaurant, I worked as a fashion designer for 10 years. Being in a restaurant is just every day different people, every day different experiences. It's a lot more interactive and it's a lot more fun. It just seemed natural when we decided to open the restaurant. It just seemed like, yeah, great. And the food, of course. The bikini sandwich is, um, it was created in the 50s at a dance hall that was called uh, Sala Bikinis. And it was a place where mostly like older couples will come out and, and they will dance. So they wanted to offer a bite to eat to all those dancers and they came out with their take on the croque monsieur, which they called the bikini. And the bikini uh, was a name that came out obviously from, you know, the, the bread that's cut in uh, half and it makes the shape of the triangle and it's similar to Bikini Bottom and they thought it was a catchy name and it was because it's slowly spread out through Barcelona and nowadays you can go into any cafe in Barcelona and ask for a bikini sandwich. A lot of things that we bring from Spain like some beer, some specialty beer, uh, the Estrella, we have the theme of Estrella throughout the whole restaurant, we have little stars for our takeout, little stars in the glasses, so that's something that is very reminiscent of what you would find in Barcelona. My hope is that bikinis will turn into a place where you can come in for a tapa or you can come in for full dinner and you'll get to meet interesting people and you'll get to have good conversation, drink good wine and just experience that sort of like a sense of that vibe that you will experience in Barcelona. That's, that's what we're looking for. If someone asked me 10 years ago, would I be doing a restaurant later? I would have never, I would have never imagined that I'd be like, oh, you're crazy. I was so involved in fashion. But we should do as many things as possible, enjoy as many experiences as possible, eat as much food and try all kinds of crazy things because, you know, the present that we live now, we'll never revive it. So the secret to life is to live it.